Great weather, yes, for the opening three days. High drama on the fourth and final day with play having been suspended a short time ago because of highly dangerous winds at around 40 to 45 knots. Players have been asked to leave the course. Cameramen have left their scaffolding. One scaffolding has already fallen at the 18th. And there is a log jam now of players, caddies and officials waiting at the clubhouse, hopefully for this to abate. But as you can see, the sand flying out of the bunkers and really treacherous. Uh, then just in 10 minutes, the weather completely changed and they continued to play on for about an hour and a half. And then around the 11.45 mark, they called play and we're, they say it should abate. Uh, around one o'clock and they'll get back out on course. Ian, let's just clarify the situation because holding a golf championship because of high winds is relatively rare mm -hmm. and unusual. So is common sense the thing that has to prevail here? They'll make a decision when they believe, no doubt uh, in conjunction with the Weather Bureau, that the winds have abated enough and it is safe enough for players, cameramen, officials or whatever to get back out on the course. Correct. It's uh, There's only two or three uh, real reasons, obviously lightning is the most uh, often used when, when lightning's within 10 miles they'll call everyone in including the gallery and everyone get them safe. Um, then obviously if we get a lot of rain the greens become unplayable yep. but dangerous conditions like this, I remember the 1983 PGA Championship down at Royal Melbourne, yes. Wayne and I were both in that uh, tournament and we were called in off the course yeah, because trees were falling over and, and debris and signs etc. So that's what's happened here again and when the wind gets up and we mentioned it yesterday, if it gets up to that 25 to 30 mile an hour it really starts to get almost impossible to play and then over that it's dangerous. So just repeating, play for the moment has been halted. One man who no doubt can shed some light on the situation is the tournament director, Trevor Hurden, and he's speaking now with Paddy Welch. Pat? Sandy, yes, thank you. It has been a chaotic 45 minutes, as both you and Ian mentioned. I mean, two or three hours ago, this was uh, paradise, really, wasn't it, Trevor Hurden? And it has blown up from the south. Uh, the clouds have come over and the breeze has picked up unbelievably to almost gale force. Yes, well, we were forecast to have them at 45 kilometres today. Uh, unfortunately, that gust that came through about 30 minutes ago was at 80 kilometres and uh, no golf course can defend 80 kilometres. And also, TV towers struggled a little bit over here so it's, there's a danger factor the course is unplayable at the moment but there is uh, chat that it might abate slowly and come back down to 35 sometime after lunch so I'm hoping within an hour, hour and a half we can get there uh, and get this tournament finished What was the situation out on the course? Balls were, I understand, moving on the green Balls started to move about 30 minutes ago and uh, that, was, that was the first sign and then of course the, with the speed of that, those winds it made those balls move which makes it unplayable and unfair of course so we have to suspend in that case and also there's a danger factor, factor once you get to 80Ks and all the, all the uh, infrastructure structure and everything that's around, we've just got to be very careful. All right, the, the plan at this moment, you'll stay in constant contact with the Bureau, obviously, mm -hmm. but what are you thinking best case? Oh, look, best case, I think if we give it an hour and if, they, if they're true to form and say it's going to abate slightly, we can get back out there. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We want to finish this championship. I spoke to a couple of the players as they were trudging their way in. Mm -hmm. They said it was near impossible to hit shots out there. Brutal. It was brutal, Paddy. Uh, golf course was still playable, but brutal for the players. Um, and, you know, we all feel for the players, but when your course is still playable, you must play so uh, that's where we were and you know those incidents happen so we, we just can't risk anything else so we'll pull them off all right well let me throw worst case to you do we come back tomorrow uh, we'll see how far we get Patty, and um, I'm pretty sure that'll be the case all right okay well we'll keep an eye on things this afternoon you are about to go and address the players uh, in, the, in the locker room we're already going to do that we're going to make an announcement in about 30 minutes and uh, I'll do some more chatting to the bureau and see where we're at so we're away for 30 minutes at least yes Trevor Hurden, thank you very much. Sandy, that's the latest. Uh, as you can see, there was a scaffold near us that came down, and those the, the gusts were, as Trevor said, up near the 80k mark, which made it just impossible to continue play. Thank you, Pat. Yes, uh, that's quite staggering. 80k's an hour.